Good morning, modern steaders. Boy, is it windy out this morning. I'll have to check the weather station. Ooh, can't talk. Wind's blowing in my mouth. Let's see what the wind gusts are up to. Ooh, this is crazy. I'm sorry to say, but our mornings just aren't gonna be the same here. At least for a few months, man. No more milk and willow. So, no more goats. <laughs> wow, that wind is strong. I'm gonna turn this way. No more goat stand chats in the morning. I might have to try to drink black coffee. <laughs> oh, guys, this is gonna ruin my day. Uh. <sighs> Terrible. <sighs> Look at those skies. That's just gorgeous, guys. Gorgeous. We've been having some extreme weather this winter, but we've had some beautiful views. Good morning, goat. Figaro, you're not supposed to be in here. Get him. All right, corn goats. some pellets in there. Even their feeding isn't the same. Well, I was like, what's going on? We should, I, should, I should go milking. It's 13 degrees out this morning. Yesterday, it was 50 degrees out and sunny. Oh, it was beautiful. And this morning, it's cold and windy. <sighs> they got plenty of hay inside too still. <sighs> Come on, Figaro. Let's go. You're one crazy cat. been loving coming out and doing the chores with us and then following us right back in the house. Come on, let's go. That ice got ya? Yeah. You can't get any traction. <laughs> get your claws out. Oh, it feels like I just got frostbite on my fingers. That hurts. Oh, is it cold out this morning? Glad we got the wood stove. You hear that wind outside? <sighs> you guys are in for a treat today. First, I gotta go out and get the supplies. <sighs> the truck's gonna need a minute to warm up. 13 degrees out, burr. That wind chill's gotta be below zero. Come on, Pluto. Come on. The wind's blowing at 20 miles per hour. We've had gusts up to 22. Burr. Wow, guys, can you see that? Look at that. That's crazy. These wind gusts. I hope the wind's staying out of here for you, girls. There you go. It's nice and warm in the greenhouse. What a difference. It's nice and warm in the greenhouse. What a difference in temperatures. I should get a thermometer for out here. Woohoo, it's cold out here. Man, you wouldn't think plastic and hay make that big of a deal but it does boy that wind get the birds of New York City some chaff hey uh, 
everything's just blowing around. Good morning, girls. They've been loving the chaff, hey? What? No eggs? Ladies. With all that wind, I can't see keeping the door to New York City open today. I can't see the chickens coming out. You trying to dig in that ice bank? Come on. You're crazy. Pluto, let's go. Hey, come on. <laughs> the truck's nice and warm. Ah, here we go. Look at those flags just a blowing. Oh, that wind is fierce today. You know who's got the neat handwriting in the house? Yeah. Dad's handwriting wouldn't like look that nice, huh? No. Mine either. Oh, look at you two. <laughs> we had a subscriber, Terry, send up some books and some organic dog treats. And we're looking at the ingredients. They're the really simple ingredients. Oh. They taste pretty good too. Mm -hmm. So it got us thinking, can we make our own dog treats? Yeah. Yeah? So, we're gonna make Pluto and Tanner some fancy dog treats today. Well, they're not gonna look like Olivia though. Olivia. <laughs> they look like Teddy Grahams. I mean, your kids would love to eat them. Don't you have enough. <laughs> That's for you, not for Olivia. <laughs> They do taste really good. They taste like apple pie. Mm-hmm. Go good with coffee. All right, so we're gonna I need. Have no words. You have no words. <laughs> I'll have a link. I'll have a link for the recipe in the description down below. Just a pumpkin. You're gonna need two thirds of a cup of pumpkin. Look at that. They even perforate it for you. You don't even need scissors. Pumpkins and make dog right, we can use homemade pumpkin next to it. <coughs> I like baby food. I don't smell anything I smell peanut butter. You don't smell the pumpkin? I thought she got the peanut butter under her nose. Come on, Jenny. One? One? That's what we used to eat. I don't know if we had your pumpkin. I know, but that's just... Though we could have. That's correct. How do they even like that? Because you don't know any better. Just like dogs don't know any better about dog food. You just push that. Oh, now I smell pumpkin. Make sure it's over the bowl. Pumpkin? No. I just think it's... What if I even hold this? Well, you grabbed it out of my hand. So what am I supposed to do? Two eggs. Hold on, let me get you a ramekin. 
Yep, put your shells in the ramekin so you don't make a mess. Those yolks really hold up. It's amazing how strong they are. Smells like what? Watermelon. Smells like watermelon. Water You're silly. Does it make you think of summer? Yeah. Yeah. That's it? For now, I'd leave it out. I'd leave more. Go for it. I wish I had that on camera. I just stopped. I was just switching over. What, that you'll knock me out? I want to stick you out with a roll. Yeah, I need it back up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it slides. We don't have any fancy dog cutting cutters. But if we like it, the dogs like the treats, we'll have to get some paws or small bones. Later for us to eat. Sounds good. I'm not eating dog treats. You don't want to eat these dog treats? You sure? They look yummy. You know it's in them. Ah. 
Boy, that glass is dirty. They're getting there. All right, going in with the fingers. I guess we should have poked a hole in them. There we go. A few more minutes. Not bad, though. I want to make a pizza for lunch today. And I think the dough is getting a little out of control. Do you smell those treats, Tanner? Do they smell delicious? You gotta wait till they cool off. Do you smell them, Pluto? You gotta wait till they cool off. You'll burn your tongue if you have one right now. She's like, but I want one. Get a pizza tin preheating. I don't have the recipe for this pizza dough yet. I'm mean, trying to doctor it up a little bit to give it some more flavor. And the same with our pizza sauce we've been doing and using store-bought stuff and then just kind of trying to tweak it. The dough is homemade, but I added some Italian seasoning to the dough to give it a little bit more flavor. So we're gonna see how that's, this comes out today. We had one for dinner the other night and it was delicious. <clears throat> if you preheat your pizza tin, I find it helps with a uh, crusty crust, crunchy crust, how we would like to say it. Uh, the other night we made them pretty thin. It was almost too thin for a pizza. So I'm gonna try making a thicker pizza today. I'd say that dough is about oh, a quarter of an inch thick or so. I think that'll be good. I'll let that sit while the oven and the pan Preheats. Getting the ingredients ready for the sauce. We got a few loose cloves in here somewhere. Let's see if we got just one. That'll be a good one. So we got our garlic press, garlic, basil, oregano, and a can of tomato sauce. Almost forgot the cornmeal. About half of our can of pasta sauce. We'll do two pinches of oregano, two pinches of basil. Got a mince and a clove of garlic. Give it a little mixy mix. Add in the rest of our tomato sauce. Give it a little sniff. A little taste of taste. That's good. It's gonna be perfect.
roast at the grocery store this morning and they had red peppers on sale. So let's roast up. That's good. Fancy dancing. All right, now. Just watch how I would make you can't talk. If you like it. More to eat. How would you draw all of That looks so delicious. Okay. And we're gonna cook the pizza without the cheese for 15 to 20 minutes. Oh, so good. Let's see how that looks. It smells delicious. Let's see. Oh, that looks perfect. My glasses are fogging up. It smells so good. Oh, let's give it two more minutes. Two more minutes. It's a little soft still. I guess it's a good thing you used that big yeah, jar. I thought it would be too big. It might be too small. Yeah, no, Maybe we'll have to eat a lot of dog treats. You'll have to eat the dog treats? Yeah. No. I think it's going to be perfect. Yeah, I do too. We would have them try it, but we're napping. And the puppies are too busy sleeping right now to try any. I wish you could smell that. It smells so good. Delicious. Not stuck to the pan. Awesome. Nice crunch on the outside. Oh yeah. Did you think they'll like them? Yes. Yes. Thank you. High five. Two high fives. <laughs> Who burped? Pluto. That was Pluto. Excuse you, Pluto. Yeah. Was it good, Pluto? Did you like it? Sit. 
down, down, roll over, roll over, oh, go boy. You like it? Was it good? You ate it, it must be good. Ready? Give me high five. He really is. He really is. No, one, one paw. Good girl. <laughs> if you don't high five, we'll get double the treat. You like your enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cut so nice, too. Ready? Don't get a shot of that. Look at that. Oh my deliciousness. That's like perfect. Mm -hmm. Yep, I was only one. I think it's like 14. We don't get ourselves this time. Oh man. What you guys were here. Oh. Sometimes I think Tanner's too smart for his own good. He's only 11 weeks old and he already knows how to sit, lie down, come, high five, paw, and he's learning how to roll over right now. It's going to be amazing the tricks we're going to be able to teach him. It's been so much fun being able to try to train him up to do these different tricks. This was the best pizza we've made at the house so far. It was delicious. I'll have to keep tweaking the um, pizza dough recipe. I think we almost got it down, and we'll have to share it on the website so you guys can try making it at home. It was so good. I'm trying to think of something to say at the end of the videos that'll encourage all of us, and me included. Every day I need words of encouragement or words of reminders. So I'm just trying to think of something so if you guys have any ideas leave it in the comments down below today I've been thinking about an oak tree how mighty an oak tree is if we don't plant it in the right environment it's never gonna be able to grow set root and be the oak tree it needs to be and oak trees take a lot of time to grow and to establish and if you plant an oak tree you're probably not gonna be able to reap the benefits or all the benefits but the next generations will and I think homesteading has a lot or even just caring for the planet farming is a lot like that what we do doesn't all we don't always get to see in our generation but we can pass that along to our kids and if we're not being thoughtful now our kids won't be able to reap the benefit and I'd rather leave something that my daughter can reap the benefit from your kids our great-grandkids can and it takes time. So I don't know. I'm just trying to think of different things. My mind's always going. I'm sure you guys know how it is. You guys are a true blessing to our family. I'll cut the conversation here for now. But leave it in the comments down below. Let me know if you have any suggestions. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres. Guide to Modern Homesteading, Self-Sufficiency, and Freedom.